Good day. Today I want to cover the basic WordPress uh, 6.1.1 install. Um, I've decided to scrap my website and I wanted to start from scratch. So this is going to be a series based on WordPress and quickly. But this for this video I'm only going to be working with the WordPress. Okay. Um, so let's without further ado, let's try and get started. Firstly, we open up our website. Um, I don't know who's, uh, which hosting provider you're with, so I'm not going to show you how to upload the files to the hosting provider. But what I will do is just take you through the basic installation steps. So as you know, my domain is wellswebtech.co.za. And so I've gone and uploaded a brand fresh new install there. And so I need to go and choose. I'm from South Africa, so I'm going to choose English South Africa. I'm going to click on continue. You'll see a screen like this appear. I'm going to try and make it a bit bigger because I don't want you to battle to see. And as you can see here, it says, welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, you'll need to know the following items. Database name, database username, database password, database host, um, table prefix, if you want to run more than one WordPress in a single database. This information is being used to create a WP config file. Uh, if for any reason this automatic file creation does not work do not worry all this does is fill in the database information to a configuration file so you can simply change a configuration file later in the text editor and fill in the correct information so i'm going to choose let's go and as you can see um, it comes up with this prompt that asks you for the database name the username password database host and prefix okay okay so I have my username and passwords all saved in a special location. So I'm just going to copy and paste them in here. But you fill in whatever your details are. Okay. Um, so there. And finally this password. Okay. I'm going to leave the table prefix as it is, but if you wanted to, you could change this to something that's more suitable for you. But WP is fine for me. I'm going to go and submit. Uh, I've got a password. You can see here it says, all right, Sunshine, you've made it through this part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database. If you are ready, time to go. So I'm going to choose run install. Um, yeah, it comes up with another screen and if we go out you can see this is what it looks like um, basically it's created a password already for us and so you must just copy that password and save it somewhere okay and i normally just call this um, pass okay um, and then site title so the name of my company is wells web tech so I'm going to use that as my site title. The username, you can use what you like. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to use um, Wells Web Tech, okay, because that's the name of my company. And then it wants an email address, and so I'll put that in here at wellswebtech.ca.za. Um, I don't want to discourage search engines from checking my site out. Definitely want search engines. And then we just choose install WordPress. So now it will uh, install it. And we can go and log into our page. But before I do go and log in, I just want to show you what the front page will look like. So this is basically it. You can see it's just got my Wells Web Tech over there. There's no formatting, no nothing on it. And uh, to get to the admin dashboard, we just go WP admin like that. And over here, I'm going to choose Wells Web Tech. And then I'm going to put that password in that I copied. And let's go here, login. <coughs> 
and doesn't seem to like it. Let me uh, okay. I'll just rent and reset my password quickly. So let's just go and log in. And there we go. As you can see, if we come here to updates, um, I think this is the Askimit Aximit anti spam. They've come out with a version uh, 5.02. So you can just click on here and go to update. Okay, and then after that, um, if we go to pages, you'll see he has a sample privacy policy one and a sample page. I normally just choose all of them. Click on move to a bin and say apply. And the same with the posts. So I go to this bin, select them all and say delete permanently. Otherwise you can just choose empty bin. Okay, and the same with posts. Here's a post, hello world. So I want to make sure I delete it. Um, click on apply, go to our bin and just say empty bin. And there it's emptied. The next things you want to do is go to settings and um, if I have a look here you see the tagline just another WordPress site. You want to change that to something that's more appealing um, like Wells Web Tech Best IT Services Best IT Services and Zulu Natal. Okay. Um, the URL is already at HTTPS. Most some sites don't have this. They would have uh, just put it on the HTTP, and so you would need to have changed that. Um, we're happy to leave the rest of it alone. Okay. Um, when we go to writing, everything is fine. Reading, um, everything is fine there. Discussions, okay. Um, the next thing is this permalinks. So what you want to do is you want to come here to post names and choose this post name and just go save save changes. Okay. And <coughs> when you when you um, once you've added a page, you'll see one of these options. Um, it gives you an option for a post and a um, post and something else. But let's uh, let's generate one. Um, yeah, this is this is basically the installation. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, I think this is okay for now. Um, if you try and go to the web page, you should see there's nothing much there. We still just got a, a blank page. So thank you for watching. I'll continue with the series after this video. Thank you and goodbye.